Fine. And Andrea, I would like you to deliver the book to my home tonight. Have Emily give you the key. Mm -hmm. Guard this with your life. Of course. You know, if I can deliver the book, then that means I must have done something right. I'm not a psycho. Oh, and you know she called me Andrea? I mean, she didn't call me Emily, which is... Isn't that great? Yeah, whoopee. Now, it's very important that you do exactly what I'm about to tell you. Oh, okay. The book is assembled by 10, 10.30, and you must wait around for it until then. You will be delivering Miranda's dry cleaning with the book. Now, the car will take you straight to Miranda's townhouse. You let yourself in. Andrea, you do not talk to anyone. Not look at anyone. This is of the utmost importance. You must be invisible. Do you understand? Uh -huh. You open the door and you walk across the foyer. You hang the dry cleaning in the closet across from the staircase. Uh. And you leave the book on the table with the flowers. to us. I sat there waiting for you for almost an hour. I told you that the cell phones didn't work. Nobody could get a signal out. And I knew what everyone in that restaurant was thinking. There he is, waiting for her again. Hello, so I said hello back, and then I went up the stairs to give her the book, and uh... you went upstairs. You went upstairs. Oh my God! Why didn't you just climb into bed with her and ask for a bedtime story? Okay, okay, I made a mistake. I know. Andrea, you don't understand. If you get fired, that might jeopardize Paris for me, and if that happens, I will search every blimpies in the tri-state area until I track you down. She's gonna fire me? I don't know. She's not happy. Andrea. <laughs> 